For our next community conversation, we're joined by Greer Achenbach, Executive Director for Friends of Charlottesville Downtown. She's sitting down with Steve. Hey, you two. All right, the big weekend is here, the big green weekend. We start with St. Patrick's Day on Friday, but we have downtown Shamrock Bingo to play as well. Yes, that's right. And I know we talked about this last week, but this week I brought in um, the actual bingo card that you can get downtown. We have nine participating restaurants, uh, Bebedero, Fitzroy, Lucky Blues, Rapture, Jack Brown, Seville, Brightside, Citizen, Miller's, and Whiskey Jar. So the way that it works is you, if you go to these any of these restaurants, whether you're drinking or just eating, um, you'll get a stamp or crossed off, and if you get three in a row, there's a souvenir cup that you win, um, which then entitles you to other specials downtown. And so it's on both Friday and Saturday to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. So you can maybe check out some basketball as well. Hopefully the Hoos are still playing then. Yes, we're very hopeful that there's going to be this really great um, synergy between March Madness and uh, St. Patrick's Day. The downtown mall has not previously done a lot for St. Patrick's Day, so we're hoping to, to bring some people out and... Um, offer an alternative to the corner. Wear your green, orange, and blue, right? That's right, yes, all the colors. <laughs> um, and how can the community as a whole, let's say, we always talk about the look of downtown and safety downtown, and we want to keep it as, you know, as beautiful and as enticing as possible. So there's a lot of ways to get involved right now. So the um, one of the most fun ways is we're doing a flower market um, down at the pavilion on May the 4th. And so I'm looking for about 15 volunteers to help us move, kind of set up plants and then move plants um, down to the different businesses for the planter competition. I'm also looking to um, uh, borrow some hand trucks. To, so if anyone has a, at home has a hand truck that we can use for Friends of Charlottesville, um, please make sure they're signed up for our newsletter. Go to uh, friendsofseville.org. Um, and then there's forms that you can sign up really quickly if you're willing to, to volunteer that. Uh, flowers in and of themselves would do so much just for the spring feeling down. Yes, down. we're very excited. Uh, that's May, May 4th, but we still have the whole month of April in between, and I know there are things planned. That's right. So um, our Downtown and Bloom Festival is in May, but there's a couple of things that we're supporting um, in April. One of them is the Tom Tom Festival, which you've probably probably heard about or talked about in here before. Um, Friends of Charlottesville is one of the sponsors for the family stage, so we encourage you to come out and check out all of the kind of activities there. Um, there's also the First Street Fair, which people might have um, have seen before, which is an artisans and um, craftspeople doing all kinds of different things on, on First Street. That's on April 29th. Um, we're also supporting Kidvention, which is the Virginia Discovery Museum's um, science fair down at the Pavilion. We'll have a booth. Um, and then we're, we're partnering with Foxfield. We want people to, to go out and enjoy Foxfield and then come back downtown and vice versa. Have you uh, been happy with kind of the feedback and participation and response you're getting to some of the things you guys are trying to do? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think the more we do, the more people know about us and the idea is that it will just build on itself. Very appreciated as always. Thank Thanks. you. Happy early St. Patty's Thanks, Day. Thanks, Steve. Jason.